Here we go, Clippers fans. It's the big one. The playoffs, the MIA a state championship round of 32 games between Newbyport and Old Rochester Regional. This is knockout soccer and it's going to be edge of your seat stuff. Newbyport go into this game with an un unbeaten record, 18 wins out of 18. And the Bulldogs have had a good season too, with 9 wins and 5 ties from their 18 games. They're a bit of an unknown quantity for the Clippers, coming from the south in a different league, so it's hard to know exactly how good this team is going to be. Their current MIAA ranking is number 24, so Newbyport are going to have to be on their guard to try and win this one. Newbyport unfortunately lost Will Aquaviva in the week to a uh, hamstring injury, so they have to shuffle the pack with Rosa playing on the right and Brooks shifting over to the left hand side in an otherwise unchanged lineup. Newbyport kicking from right to left here in front of a big crowd on a Sunday afternoon at the James T. Stalin, Stalin Stadium. And they got off on the front foot as always, getting stuck in and getting the ball quickly up the field. But actually, there was a scrappy opening few, few, few exchanges. And in the end, the referee gave a free kick against Acton in a dangerous position for a handball. So Newbyport had to defend the free kick after just 25 seconds here. The cross came into the back post, but Tank came out of his goal and punched it away and Forest Take completed the clearance. The game was pretty even in the early exchanges. Newbyport pushing forward here with Cotter's throw and Twitchell getting to the byline and forcing the first corner of the game for Newbyport. And we all know how dangerous these corners are. The cross came in and it was cleared away. And just as Brooks was about to shoot, the old Rochester midfielder took the ball away from him and all of a sudden they had three on three and they were breaking up the field at speed. But luckily McDermott got back and made a good clearance and Newbyport were able to clear the danger. But it was clear from these opening exchanges that Old Rochester were going to be a tough team and the Bulldogs were going to cause a lot of problems for the Newbyport defence. Newbyport had the first clear opening in the game as Zach Rosa broke down the right, put a cross to the back post, but Twitchell couldn't quite get on the end of it. And then a great ball forward by Cotter was picked up by Twitchell who bulldozed his way through and had a shot which went just wide of the near post. Newbyport starting to get on top and creating a few openings. Here's a good ball forward by O'Brien. Forest Hay does well, steals the ball away from the midfielder, advances on the goal and tries his luck to see if he can beat the keeper from range. But uh, over the bar on this occasion. But Newbyport starting to cause a few problems and the Bulldogs struggling to cope with the uh, pace and the uh, um, skill of the attack. But then a little mistake in midfield led to a ball over the top and Tank came storming out of his goal, made a good save. And then Smith, retreating back, gave away a free kick on about the 20-yard line. So Newbyport under pressure here. The free kick round the wall. But luckily Owen Tank makes a good save and it lacked the power to really test him. So we're halfway through the first half here. We have a free kick which comes to Bovey and his shot was charged down by the defence. And then from the other side, a great corner and up goes Cotter, and he thinks he's got a score from about one yard out. Somehow the ball goes wide. But a great opportunity there for Newbyport. And now in the 25th minute, some good work from Brooks. Puts Sean Gasparo in a good position on the left-hand side. He plays a smart ball inside to Adam Bovey, who turns on a sixpence and smashes it with his left foot past the despairing dive of the goalkeeper. An absolutely wonderful goal in the 25th minute here. Great play from freshman Gasparo into Adam Bovey on the edge of the D and he turns smartly and then takes one touch and smashes it with his left foot past the goalkeeper. Absolutely wonderful goal from Bovey. I think his fifth goal of the season and it settles the nerves for this Newbyport team and gives them a one goal lead here against Old Rochester Regional. But a couple of minutes later, Rochester had a corner, floated the ball in and the defender got up highest, flicked it on but Tank got down well to his right to make a good save. But they're definitely carrying a threat. Here's a long throw into the box, headed away, and the ball comes out to Twitchell, and he breaks. And Newbyport at speed. Look at Brooks going down the left. Twitchell takes on his man, plays the ball across to Gasparo. He tries to find a place to shoot, and looks like he's tripped on the edge of the box. But the referee doesn't give it. And it's end-to-end -end stuff now as the half is coming towards the end. And here comes Rochester now, coming forward. 
trying to hit Newbyport on the break. And this is really a good uh, example of how this game was going. Newbyport scrapping away to stop Rochester getting any clear sight of goal. But lots of threat coming forward. They had a really good player, number nine, uh, up front. And Luke O'Brien and Kellen McDermott were dealing really well with him. But here he is, bulldozing his way through to try and get the shot away. It's cleared away by O'Brien. And then the ball comes out on the left on the left hand side and Rosa is a judge to have fouled the striker there to give a free kick away. But it's really end-to-end -end stuff here with about five minutes to go in the first half. And the free kick's floated in and Tank does really well to commanding his box there and plucks the ball out of the air. And now with about two minutes to go in the half, another ball forward. Chance on the right-hand side for Rochester, crossed in. And again, McDermott's in the right place at the right time and O'Brien's able to clear the ball away. And the ball's now really, the game's now really end-to-end. -end. Here, Brooks wins the ball back. Forest Hay picks the ball up, plays it through to Twitchell. And Twitchell advances on goal, cr creates half a yard for himself and smashes the shot in, but the goalkeeper makes a comfortable save. But Newbyport creating lots of chances towards the end of the half. And uh, here's another one. Good throw from Cotter. Twitchell turns his man, plays it into Forest Hay, and he can't quite get the shot away when he's got... Um, half a chance to score there. But then just before the end of the end of the half, Rosa makes a foul on the edge of the box and it gives Rochester a chance to test the keeper one more time before the interval. And here he goes, left foot, floated in, tank comes out, gets to the ball, and it's cleared away by Newbyport eventually. Um, but the ball comes back in from Rochester and they have a shot from about 20 yards out, but it's high, wide and handsome over the crossbar. No danger for Tank there. And so as the time ticks down, the first half has been pretty even, but Newbyport, 1-0 up, have created the better chances. The referee blows the whistle, uh, and it's Newbyport 1, Old Rochester Regional 0 at, at the half. And Newbyport need to regroup and come out stronger in the second half. And actually, right at the beginning of the second half, they created a really good opportunity. Forest Hay getting there first, flicking it on. Twitchell giving him the reverse pass. And just as he gets into the box, he's brought down in the area. Appeals for a penalty. Referee says nothing given. I'm not sure if you watch the replay here, you'll see. Twitchell plays the ball through. Forest is just about to shoot. The defender comes across. Does he get the ball? I'm not sure. But Forest Day goes down. Could easily have been a penalty. One minute into the second half. And great work here from Rosa, winning the ball back. On the right-hand side, he's having a great game, Zach Rosa. Plays it to Forest Hay again, he picks the ball up, and it opens up for him. No one closes him down, so he tries his luck from 25 yards. The goalkeeper makes a save just before Twitchell can get in on the rebound. But Newbyport, very dominant here in the early exchanges of the second half. And now, six minutes in, O'Brien throws in another good free kick. The ball's headed away. Forest Hay picks it up on the left-hand side. Beats the defender, attacks the box. And he gets brought down there. Is that a penalty? Surely that's a penalty. Again, right on the edge of the box. The referee gives a free kick. But he says it's on the edge of the box. It's not inside the box. So it's a free kick rather than a penalty kick. Forest Day very unlucky again there not to be awarded a penalty. And from the resulting free kick, Acton sells the dummy. Forest Day tries the shot to the far post. But it's off target on this occasion. But Newbyport really on top at this point. And here's a nice move. Colwell into Acton. He rolls the ball to Ben Cotter. Ben Cotter plays it to Rosa. And Rosa really tormenting this fullback. Beats him again. Cuts inside into the area. The fullback clips his heels and he's down in the box. Surely this time it's a penalty. The crowd are screaming at the referees. What's going on here? Uh, Rosa's done the defender completely. And there's a touch on his heel. He's actually outside the area. But he goes down in the box. Surely that's a foul. The referee doesn't give anything on this occasion. So, uh, very inconsistent refereeing. Surely should have been at least a free kick. Anyway, here you go, Rochester forward. And a fantastic block here by Cotter to prevent a goal scoring opportunity for the Roch uh, old Rochester striker. And unfortunately, that was the last action for Cotter as he picked up an injury blocking that shot. Now, with 15 minutes gone in the second half, a corner to the back post is flicked on. And it's cleared away by Rochester. It comes out to Bovey. He tries his luck from 25 yards, trying to get his second goal of the game. The goalkeeper makes the save. But Newbyport pretty much on top here, creating good chances. Here goes Gasparo into Brooks. Brooks plays it inside to Koyo, tries to turn the defender. But it runs away from him before he can get the shot away. 
Now Rochester with a corner. And it's floated into the box. Headed clear by the Newport defence. But the ball comes out to the edge of the box and a shot from the Rochester midfielder but it goes over the bar. They're not getting clear sights of goal but they're still carrying a threat. Newport need to be careful. And now here's a long ball over the top for Kuya and he's away. And he beats one man and gets a second chance here with his left foot and it goes just wide of the post. A great break there from Newport and they're really threatening their second goal. And now with 15 minutes to go, Luke O'Brien takes a, another free kick into the box. And Forest Hay rises highest, flicks it towards the goal, but the goalkeeper makes a comfortable save. So surely the second goal is going to come eventually. Here's another chance. Gasparo picks the ball up, gets fouled in the midfield. That gives Luke O'Brien another chance to throw the ball into the, uh, into the penalty area. 13 minutes to go. And here goes Acton. He rises highest, beats the goalkeeper to the ball and puts it in the net. So second goal for Newbyport. But the referee, what's happening here? The referee has disallowed the goal for a foul on the goalkeeper. I must admit, I didn't see that one. It looked like a, a clean goal with Acton rising to head the ball in. The goalkeeper picks up an injury and gets treatment, but no goal. So here goes Rosa now. 10 minutes to go, 11 minutes to go on the clock. Plays it into Forest Hay, and he scoops it over the bar from about eight yards out. Newport really need to take one of these chances. And here, here goes Forest Hay again into Twitchell. And Twitchell plays the ball through to Rosa. Great run again, great cross. Forest Hay's on the end of it. Somehow, the goalkeeper makes a save with his left hand and prevents that goal, ball from going in the net. And here go uh, Rochester at the other end. Big ball forward, Tank. Gets underneath the ball and it looks like they're going to have a clear shot on goal. But again, McDermott and Colwell between them snuff out any danger for Newport. I must admit the Newport defence were fantastic on the day and didn't let any real clear chances on goal. Now here's another chance. O'Brien plays it forward. Picked up by Twitchell and he gets brought down on about the 40-yard line. And that gives O'Brien a chance with eight minutes left on the clock. Puts the ball into the net. Sorry, into the... Penalty area. Rosa flicks it on and it comes to Twitchell. And there he is, Kalen Twitchell, in the right spot at the right time again. And he spins and sticks the ball in the back of the net to finally give Newbyport some breathing room in the game. That's the second goal of the game for Newbyport. Rosa plays it through. Nice turn from Twitchell. Smashes it past the goalie. No chance for the keeper. And that's the 17th goal of the season for Kalen Twitchell. And that is a very important goal for Newbyport as they can now relax and for the last eight minutes of the game they can try and close this game out with a two goal cushion. Newbyport to Old Rochester Regional nil, But Newbyport continued to push forward and it was Rosa really who was tormenting the Rochester defence. Here he goes again, round the outside, beats the defender and you can see the frustration of the defender as he barges Rosa off the field and gets a yellow card for his trouble. Rosa had been tormenting him the whole game. Here's a good cross in and Acton gets on the end of it. And that was a close chance for number three. And now with about five minutes to go, Rochester throwing everything at Newbyport, trying to get this goal back, trying to get themselves back in the game. And number nine, who was their real major threat up front, does well here, creates half a yard for himself, tries a shot from about 25 yards, and it's not far wide. Tank had it covered. But that was about as close as Rochester had come to a goal in the game. And here, Newbyport now hit them on the break. Forest Hay picks up the ball, plays it to Twitchell, plays it back into Forest Hay. Nice ball. He's got a chance to shoot and end this game, but the goalkeeper makes a save, tips it round the post. A great break from Newbyport, really threatening on the break. And here we go, last couple of seconds in the game. The referee blows the final whistle. And Newbyport have won this game in the end quite comfortably, two goals to nil. Could have been more for sure. But a very good performance again from that stellar Newbyport defence. And Newbyport advanced to the round of 16 where they'll play Norwell. So Newbyport Clippers 2, Old Rochester 0. Fantastic goal from Adam Bovey off a Sean Gasparo assist. And then Twitchell wrapped it up on 72 minutes after nice work from Zach Rosa. After the game, Paul Aquaviva caught up with some of the players to get their view on the game. All right, I'm here with the center midfield core, Adam, Sean, and Henry. Uh, great game today. You guys really controlled the middle. And uh, let's start with the goal. Um, Sean, set us up for that. Um, 
I got like the ball kind of out wide, like around here. And I just like did a little faint, took it in. I saw Adam open. It was kind of like a bouncing pass. He had a good touch and rifled it with his left foot. It surprised me, it was a great goal. <laughs> yeah. Great goal. yeah, 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 Adam, what, what happened there? Uh, just coach is telling us to shoot, so I shot. Yeah, he had some real poise there. He took a second, he deked left, right? Took a left. Excellent job. Uh, and uh, and Henry, you played a fantastic game. Loved having you back after being uh, a little bit under weather. So, um, any any uh, secrets to winning today? Um, playing together. I think we just yeah, played together. Play how we, we always play. Uh, no, we didn't. No, there's more to come. We're yeah. focused. Yeah, we're focused. Yeah. All right, Sean. Anything else? No. Adam, last word. No clips. All right. Good job, guys. All right, I'm here with Zach and Kaylin, two uh, two standouts today. Uh, let's start with the goal, Kaylin. What happened there? Um, it was kind of bobbling around in the box off of, uh, off of your I think uh, Zach, I think you got it, right? Yeah, I just like toe poked it to Kaylin, and he like cut it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good, uh, Zach. You came out on fire today. Yeah, you out of a cannon. We knew you were zoned in. Yeah. All game long, causing problems. What is your tribute today to? Um, you know, I listen to some good music. Got it done. It's all about the prep work. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kalen, you got a lot of opportunities. Uh, yeah. Zach and I almost combined yeah. for another one, and uh, Zach got brought down for a uh, box. No, yeah, totally, yeah. totally penalty. Could have easily had another one there. Yeah. Now causing problems all day for them. Uh, excellent job, guys. Any last words? Out to Norwell. Revenge match. All right, let's do it, boys. Thanks. Yes, all eyes on Norwell. Having lost to Norwell last year and then being the reigning champions, this is a huge opportunity for Newport to go back to Norwell's ground and beat them in their own backyard to set up quarter-final away at number one seed Pembroke. I know these seniors want revenge for the tough defeat last year. So this game's on Thursday at Norwell High School be sure to get your tickets in advance from the MIAA website. This is going to be an absolute classic game between two of the strongest teams in Massachusetts. We'll be there every step along the way. Go Clippers!